Hi, I'm Clark Gregg. I'm partnering with my friends at the Child Mind Institute to talk about the things I'm doing to manage my mental health during this strange time when a lot of us are in isolation, alone, which can be stressful. Some of us are isolated with our family or friends, and let's be honest, sometimes that can be stressful. So we have to do extra things to make sure that we can stay calm during the stressful times. Um, one of the things that I like to do is exercise. I just took a jujitsu class on Zoom. I didn't even know that was possible. I did it, I got a great sweat, immediately I feel better. I try to exercise every day, and you know what? You should too. Even if you just take a walk, go for a little run, you can do it with your family, or you can do it by yourself with some headphones. You will feel better every day, I promise. Uh, one of the other things I've been doing is meditating. This may not sound fun, turns out it's really fun. I use an app called Headspace, which teaches you how to do it little by little. You just start out with a couple of minutes a day, and there's something so calming and peaceful about it, I always feel like I'm in a better mood afterwards. Uh, one of the other things I love about meditation is the kind of meditation I've been doing lately is called mindfulness meditation. And one of the things you do is you just look at your feelings, you notice them, you don't judge them. If you feel bad, you realize it's kind of like a wave. It's going to go up and then it's going to come down so that when you feel bad, you realize, well, this doesn't feel awesome, but uh, I know it won't be like this for long. And pretty soon, the waves get smaller and smaller. At least that's how it's been for me. Uh, one of the other things I like to do is I like to talk to people. I make sure I FaceTime with friends who are alone. Um, I talk to my family. I talk to my amazing daughter, Stella. And lately, I've been talking to a new friend. And the problem is that she doesn't talk back a lot, but I don't really care. Because this is Lucy, who I just adopted a rescue from Mexico. So we speak a little Spanish. Hers is a little better than mine. Oh, hello. Um, so adopting a pet that needs a home, that was a great thing for me. She's amazing. She's made my isolation a lot more fun and a lot less isolated. Um, the other thing I do is I try to go one day at a time. You can't really know what's going to happen. None of us can. We don't know how long this is going to be like this. So I find that if I can just focus on what I can do to take care of myself, to be of service to the other people in my life, which also makes me feel better, if I can focus on doing that one day at a time, before I know it, a couple of days at a time are going to add up and we'll be out of this and we can all go hang out.